Today we're doing some very important work on the samurai. Since we are going on an actual trail, there's a few things that I want to address. A couple for safety, a couple for performance. Before we hit the trail and Laura's driving this. So, first off, let's start with the safety. So, this plate right here is where the roll cage mounts. And as you can see, it's bowed out. I would guess means that, you know, based off of how crunched up this thing is, it's been rolled over before and the roll cage tried to push down and luckily it didn't go through the floor, but I wanna make sure that that can't happen. So we're gonna be adding some tube from uh, the plate over to the frame. Pretty simple there. Next up would be, it's got these double shackles or what they call missing links. And there's a couple things with this I'll show you in a second. Uh, these aren't, we're not getting the full suspension travel out of this, mainly because the shocks are too short and to be honest, the mounts aren't high enough. So we're gonna address that hopefully today as well. So we can hopefully get this thing to fully droop out and get the proper flex. Then there's this spare tire kind of carrier. This is not good. This thing is not properly braced. It's only braced here in the middle. We need to disperse the load all the way out to the corners. Um, and I don't want to put this much weight up here, so we're going to end up cutting this, like, probably about here, cut this rack off. Uh, the Samurai doesn't need to carry a high lift. Um, we have room in the truck for that, so... Um, get some of the weight down and those are sort of the main issues um roll cage shocks tire carrier should be pretty simple let me show you guys what i'm talking about with the shocks real quick we got the front end completely off the ground as you can see the second shackle is starting to separate but the shock is fully extended so that is limiting our down travel which in rock crawling you want down travel so you can keep all your tires on the ground up travel is not as important um, you do need some up travel but more down so especially with these shackles otherwise honestly these are pointless to have so I'm gonna pull the front shocks off so we can see uh, how much more droop we can get here So check that out. So now, you know, the shackle is working properly. And we have a bunch more droop. And if you check out the shock here, this is the shock fully extended. So as you can see right here, where I don't know, what's that, like four, four and a half inches? More uh, down travel we could have and actually properly use the missing links so luckily i have left over from my last samurai build some long bill signs so we'll throw these on the front probably have to modify the shock hoops raise them up probably build my own but uh there you have it that is why we will be changing the shocks and then on the back we'll probably have to adjust the rear shocks as well
All right, so this tube's only tacked in here. You guys saw how wobbly it was before? Because we triangulated this and we took, before it was all right here, so the whole tube was at like, this part of the tube was able to flex since it's tied back close to the pivot point. And like, this will get even a little bit better once it's welded. But, um, and we don't have, you know, that extra weight up top. Um, you know, it's more leverage and high center of gravity. We're gonna repurpose that rack later, but like, this, this rack went from unusable to usable. Um, still gonna have to redo how the spare tire actually mounts so we can actually bolt it on. But you know, one step at a time. All right guys, so I was about to dive into the shock towers and shocks. Uh, but I noticed that this brake line is too short. It was getting pulled on pretty hard at full droop without the shocks. So we're gonna have to order new brake lines, which means shock towers and shocks will be in another video. But we were able to get a couple things done. Here's the uh, final product on the tire carrier. It's way more stout now um painted it up show you guys what uh the welds turned out pretty decent you can see that but um so yeah that's the tire carrier so far and then you guys can see how we tied the cage back into the frame here um, pretty simple stuff Here's the passenger side, same thing. That is gonna do it for this one. The next video that you guys are gonna be seeing is this and the Gladiator out on the trail. Make sure you're subscribed so you can stay tuned for that. Also, if you're interested in supporting the channel in any way, there's a bunch of links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. The Samurai has a long way to go. <laughs> I mean, just, she's rough, but step by step, uh, little project by little project, we are going to bring the Samurai back to a little bit more of a... Not showroom by any means, but just a nicer quality. This thing's it's super rough, so this was a good first step, and uh, let's get this thing out on the trail.